Well, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Banks, coming at you live with another trade recap. Now, today I'm going to be going over some new concepts that you may never heard of. Breakup structure, change of character, and fair value gap, or just an imbalance like the old school guys used to call it. Let's get into it. First, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of this educational content I put out on a daily basis to make you a profitable and successful trader. Now, again, as I said, there might be some new concepts that I will be sharing today. And as you know, we're always going over live trades that were taken in the group. QQQ calls today. While everyone was getting short, we went long. Now, we did take QQQ puts in the morning up here, did bank 200%. But for this one in particular, I will be going over this call trade that we took for over 52% uh, near the low of the day. While well, everyone was getting short, as you know it, the wolves were getting long and banking. Don't ever short the hole. For this episode, a couple new concepts you might never heard of. The first one is going to be break of structure, right? So all it means is a break of a lower low in a bearish trend or a break of a higher high in a bullish trend. But as you guys know, we are in a bearish trend right here. So it is a break of the lower low, as you guys can see right here. The next thing I will be talking about is change of character. What does change of character actually mean? It is a break of a lower high or higher low, depending on if it's a bearish or bullish trend. In this case, it is a bearish trend, so it is a break of the lower high. Uh, it would break the lower high, uh, and then it will come back and retrace into a demand where we can look to take some of the opposite trade, like a reversal of the trade, and especially in confluence with a fair value cap, Fair, fair value gap, which a lot of people like to call it nowadays. But if you're like me, when we used to trade these, it was just called an imbalance. That's all it is. A fair, fair value gap is just an imbalance between buyers and sellers. So you'll hear me more so, especially if you've been in the group, I'll just say imbalance, won't call it a fair value gap. It's just a new coin that's termed. Uh, it's, just, it's just an imbalance, guys. That's all it really is. Imbalance between buyers and sellers. Uh, nothing new here. People have been trading imbalances for decades. So coming back to this, what did I see? Why did we take calls here? Well, we're having a bearish trend, right? We have this bearish trend. What is a bearish trend, right? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, right? A nice, clear, distinct, beautiful bearish trend here. Now I am using the one minute, typically don't use this, but today, especially we're getting kind of in a choppy range near lows. I will flip to the one minute sometimes, and I will take trades like this based off of the one minute. Now, in this case, nice bearish trend. As I said before, the break of structure in a bearish trend is just a break of the lower low. So we had a break of the lower low right here, and then a change of character, which would be the break of the lower high. So we had the lower high here. We had a change of character right here on that break of the lower high in that bearish trend. Perfect. Now we have two things going for us for this type of setup. Now, essentially what it is, is we have a nice trend and we have the break of the trend. If you want to put it in layman's terms, that's all it really is. It's just a break of a trend. So we have the trend come down, we break the trend, and now it is coupled with this fair value gap or imbalance, right? It's just an imbalance that we have here. And it's actually a very beautiful imbalance to fill, right? I mean, this is probably a plus picture perfect of this type of setup. So we have essentially a break of the trend of the bearish trend with the break of structure into the change of character. So that's something you want to see, right? We want to see a break of the structure. So in this case, a bearish trend into a new lower low. And from that lower low, create a break of the previous lower high right here into that change of character, right? I mean, it's absolutely named so. It is a change of character, essentially a change of the trend. And now it created this absolutely beautiful imbalance here. So what are we seeing here? Buyers stepping in. We're creating a change of the trend. We come back down, fill this imbalance, right? Fill this back into this demand uh, between buyers and sellers. Some leftover buy buyers are essentially what it is, is some leftover buyers are in this area in this imbalance. Uh, and now buyers can still hold and those buyers are still overtaking the sellers. We can see nice move back into here and then a push up into that trend change. Now, this doesn't mean that the trend is going to change for the rest of the day. Uh, we got a trend change right into about eight, 
right? 87.25, 87.20, right into this high right here. But it was definitely enough to get us a nice, cool 52% from our entry. So again, a couple new subjects or terms for you, break of structure. Uh, again, it's just a break of a lower low and a bearish trend, a break of a higher high and a bullish trend, and then a change of character, which comes after the break of structure. Um, in this case, since it is a bearish trend, it is a break of the lower high, creating a higher high. And then with the confluence of this fair value gap, right, a nice imbalance between buyers and sellers, essentially there was leftover buyers within this area. It comes right back down. The buyers step up their game again, feeling that imbalance. And then we have a nice push up into that trend change. That is why I took these calls here. Something new, uh, I do have a couple of videos previous about this as well. I do have a thread on it as well on Twitter, but it is something that we could talk about further. I don't always use this. Obviously, it's not something that I use every single day, but again, it is in my hat of tricks of strategies that I do use um, throughout my trading. So this is just a new introduction, probably to a lot of you of this type of trade and this type of setup that we actually took today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know there's some new terms. Maybe go Google, break a structure, change a character, get familiar with these terms. I know there's a lot of other videos out there for you, um, but get familiar with it. It is a nice strategy to use uh, to put in your bag of strategies um, to take trades, right? We don't, we don't just stick to one particular strategy the entire time. There's plenty of different ways to trade. Uh, this is just one of the ways that I like to trade, right? So- Hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to the team for absolutely killing it today. I mean, the team murdered it again. As you guys know, I am in the Wolves of Wealth Discord, Discord where we are in an education-based community to make you guys a better trader. That's, again, why I make these videos. I want to see everybody win. Trading is for everyone. Uh, you just have to put in the time and effort to get there. And I believe all of you can, right? I try to make trading as simple as possible. Hope you're enjoying these videos. More are on the way. Let's have a killer Friday next Killer Friday next week. Killer Friday tomorrow, guys. Um, remember, one and done. That's all you need on a Friday. And then go enjoy your weekend. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat or comment below. And please, Go ahead and like and subscribe and tell all your friends about this channel. Try to give as much free education out to you guys to help you in the best way possible and make you profitable traders. Again, my, my name is Mr. Banks. Thank you guys for coming out. I will see you next time on another live trade review. Have a good one. Love you guys.